Alrighty, everyone. Hello, Facebook Live. We are here with a special treat today. I'm kind of in the awkward part of the frame because I'm trying not to cut anyone off. But we are here with a quadruple special because we have four artists today. We have Allison Davis. We have yeah, yeah, Aaron. And Morgan Gattermeyer. Because we have a quadruple special, because we are doing some pop art. <laughs> we are going to be doing some pop art today inspired by Andy Warhol. So we're going to be doing a large collaborative piece. I'm going to go ahead and check my Facebook really quick to make sure we are actually live before I have to do this intro again. Give me one second, you guys. Cool, and I can actually read your comments just in case we have any. Yes. Welcome everyone to the chat, if we have anyone. So what we're going to be doing is drawing a celebrity. I took celebrities from everyone here and I chose one of my personal favorites from the group, Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. Mr. Vincent, <laughs> Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. Allison suggested Vincent Van Gogh, and I was like, oh, yeah, he's an artist. We're artists here. We love that. So what we are going to do is we are going to show you a cool technique of how to get some awesome line work from Vincent Van Gogh. This is just a picture we printed of one of his most famous self-portraits, not the one with his ear cut off because that was later towards his life, but one of his other most famous self-portraits and we are going to um color it in we're gonna have each artist here color that in their own special unique way and then we're going to post it on a board so you can see the collaborative work of all four of them together it's going to be really special and i cannot wait for you all to see it so we're going to switch over to morgan's cam really quick she's going to be on the creativity cam for the day and then we will go around do some chatting with everyone else as we do that so Morgan can you show us how we would use our brand new technology to get our line work absolutely so this is a light box this is our light box we turn it on and then we have our picture of Mr. Van Gogh we put that down and then this is watercolor paper and you put that on top. And because it's a light box, you want to see as much as you can. So you would shadow it with your hands. Or use it in the dark. Or use yeah. it in the dark. We have studio lighting in here because of the, uh, you know, cameras. So and then I we like take to... a Sharpie and then we sketch it out. And then you end up with this. Other way. <laughs> with this. Yeah, so we have our basic outlines here. You can go ahead and turn that off so we don't blind everyone at home. But... We have our basic outlines. We can take our light pad. Uh, thank you to all of our sponsors and donors who got us that beautiful upgrade of technology. We have some pretty old light boxes. So thank you to all of our lovely donations that got us that awesome upgrade. And so what medium are you going to be using today to color this in, Morgan? Today I'm going to be using watercolor. It is not a medium that I am as familiar with as acrylic paint. So I'm stepping outside my comfort zone a little bit, and I'm going to be using watercolor. Perfect. I'm just going to go ahead, and you guys can watch Morgan do that, and I'm going to talk to some of our other artists while they get started coloring in their images. I'm going to pass those out. I have some pre-sketched ones that we started with. They can color these in any way, shape, or form that they would like. All right, Erin, what are you going to use today to color yours in? Uh, pencil. Yeah, colored pencils. Do you know what you're gonna, what colors, colors you're gonna pencils. use? Colors, yep. pencils. So, um, what is your favorite thing about spring, Erin? Spring. What's your favorite thing about it? St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. That's a good one. So you've got some pretty green nails to. Green nails. Mm -hmm. Green. Green. Green nails. <laughs> Green nail polish. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and get started on coloring. Thanks for chatting with us for a moment. Green nail polish. Alrighty, Brett. And what are you using to color in your Van Gogh? 
Got some markers. Some markers. And what's your favorite thing about spring? Oh, I see flowers. Flowers. That's a good one. We love flowers here. All right, Allison, what are we using to color in ours? I'm using watercolor too. I wanted to get outside my comfort zone. I'm more familiar with acrylic painting. That's what I do a lot of, but I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and try some watercolor. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love layering watercolors. It's so nice. And what's your favorite thing about spring? My favorite thing about spring is all the colors and how the world just comes alive. Beautiful. There's another fun thing about spring, everyone. Can you tell us what that is, Morgan? Yes. Um, so this month is actually Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. And we have got two awesome events planned for this month in honor of Disabilities Awareness Month. The first one is at Basil, and it is March 18th from 6 to 10 p.m., Yep, we're going to have entertainment by a special DJ, some live painting going on by some of our personal resident artists. Uh, Jody Mann is going to be there painting. Uh, Cassie Sullivan's going to be there. Hopefully, we're going to have some others. Um, I haven't confirmed yet, but we have some special attendees. So hopefully, everyone can come out and see them paint. I'm trying to... Um, Get a couple in this room <laughs> to show up and paint for us. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also going to have some super cool guest bartenders. So um, if you want to help us celebrate and, um, you know, just come out and enjoy the night with all of us and the artists, please come out to Basil. We have one more. And this one is at the Casual Pint. And that is on Wednesday, March 23rd from noon to 10 p.m. Yep, and all 10% uh, of all sales will be donated to the Inspiration Studios. It's a dine to donate, and that is also their trivia night. So I know for sure I will have a team going. Probably me and Savvy and a couple artists will get a trivia team going. So if you want to test your brain and challenge us to some trivia, come on out and help us celebrate the month and dine to donate. Uh, they have some really cool food there. I really enjoy their hummus platter and their sidewinder fries <laughs> and their I their flatbreads are really good. The and cauliflower their pretzels are really good too. Yeah, their flatbread pizzas are delish. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't wait to go out and enjoy that. And March twenty third is Joe Shell's birthday, so oh. <laughs> she's gonna be excited about that one. Don't know what color she wants us to wear, but hopefully it's a good one because I only hopefully it's black. I only own black, everyone's. <laughs> Yes, it did work. <laughs> oh, and Allison, your mom says hi. Hi, mom. <laughs> hi, Allison. <laughs> Brett also says hi, Allison's mom. <laughs> and then, can I say my favorite part of spring? Yeah, of course, Morgan. What's your favorite part of spring? So I love all the colors. I love that the temperature gets warmer, and that you get to spend a lot more time outside. I feel like winter is a kind of like a migrating, hibernating time of the year. So once spring hits, I like being outside as much as possible. My favorite part about spring, everyone, is the food. I love, like, fruits and veggies. I know that I'm just getting closer to tomato season. I, can, I love strawberries. I want to taste fruits that aren't pomegranates again. I love fruits. I want foods that aren't frozen. I can't wait. Fresh fruit, yes. Fresh foods. Fresh <laughs> I want food. strawberry lemonade again. Strawberry lemonade is my favorite part of the spring. Sparkling strawberry lemonade comes back in uh, to the to the Aldi. I don't know if anyone shops at the Aldi. The Aldi, oh yes. we do. We uh, shop at Aldi. I, I love, love that place. I love the Aldi, and they get their sparklings. Um, their sparkling lemonade back, and I'm so excited. <laughs> Embarrassingly so for their sparkling lemonade when it comes back in the springtime. So as much as I love, you know, springtime and the flowers and the colors, I want that strawberry lemonade. <laughs> All righty. Oh, we also, another fun event that's coming to the studio in March is our 
ceramics class. We're going to be making some utensil holders next Wednesday. So you can come on in to the studio. You will be seeing me and one of our artists will be coming in to help us teach that class. And you will be making a utensil holder or I guess a vase or a, a pasta dish or a decorative... <laughs> A really fancy, um, I don't know, cup, whichever, <laughs> whatever you want it to be, we're going to be making it. A really fancy flower pot. I <laughs> you can make it. Where are you going? I. Where are you going? We're going to make it. <laughs> we're going somewhere. We're gonna make it next Wednesday, and then we're going when we glaze those a week later or two weeks later on March the 30th. We will be making um, a set of coasters, so you can choose from our selection of stencils and stamps and cookie cutters to decorate those. And it will be a ton of fun, as our community classes always are. I know Morgan has taught a couple of those, so I know she can contest to saying that they are super cool are and very amazing. exciting and it gives our artists a chance to join the community and help us out and do some really awesome work. So feel free to sign up. Yes, Morgan? I think one thing that I really like about the the classes are, you know, for some of the commissions that we do, we go into other places of different people's work. Yeah, like our installations and stuff. Like our installations and such. But then people from our community, like the community, are coming into our place and learning how to do something that they've never done, which I think is really, really cool. Oh, yeah. Very, very awesome. It's very inspirational. and I really like to do that. But I think they're really cool. And now we have Morgan painting the ear when he still had it. When he still had it, yeah. Actually, I don't remember if that's the one he cut off. I should know. I don't. I'll Google it after this, I promise everyone. And then something also that's really important too is when you're doing watercolor, if you use a Sharpie, Beard. you won't get runny lines because a Sharpie, is a Sharpie water-based? No, they're alcohol-based. So with this being alcohol-based, you don't have to worry about your lines getting smeared. If you were to use a regular marker like Brett's using to color his in, you would have a higher risk of them, the lines running, and then you wouldn't have clean lines like we do for the sketch. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna switch back to our main camera and I'm gonna have some of our artists show us their works in progress. And you can see me be a little bit awkward, I guess. I'm trying my best. <laughs> What's new? Well, this is, this is a new setup. We are in the sensory studio. I know you, we've seen a couple of our live art minis be in here before, but it is an awkward setup because we do have the four, five desks behind us, but our desks are individually placed so we can move them in any formation that we'd like. So we have four, we've got one, two, three, four, and Morgan has a fifth one up here to hold the camera. So I'm doing some awkward turning, but it is very cool. I really do like the setup. So, Erin, can you show us what you have? Can you flip your work up to the camera? Yeah. Yep, she is coloring that in steadily. Can I see it for one second? Um, yeah. Morgan, your mom says hi. What's up, Mama? <laughs> glad, you're, glad you're on uh, watching my live. <laughs> I don't know Morgan, Mom. <laughs> Brett, can I see your work for just a second so everyone can see? You can flash it to the camera. Ooh, Brett is getting really creative, adding lots of flowers and bright colors in there. Lots of liberties here. This is going to be a very interesting collection. Yours is a bit wet, so we might have to wait till yours dries a bit. If you're brave, you can lift it to the camera, but if not, I won't make you. You can very carefully show what we have here. Lots of yellows and reds and oranges. And you're putting your name on it, Brett? Make sure. Yep, I don't think anything's here. No. So. Perfect. Morgan hates when I say the word perfect, but... That's there's no such thing. Morgan says there's no such thing as perfect, but it's okay. <laughs> 
I learned that from Stephen. Stephen says there's no such thing as perfect, but I don't know, guys. These pieces are looking pretty perfect to me. The way I see my painting is... Wait, wait, wait. Before you get inspirational, let me switch back to the creative cam. Okay, go ahead. Something I think is interesting about my painting is it looks like Vincent got into a little bit of the uh, spray tan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got a little spray tan crazy. Well, I guess it was. It's <laughs> okay. That's just what it looks like. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. I've got um a couple of tattooed portraits on myself. Um, who knows? I might get Van Gogh. But the funniest thing is when I get sunburned, they also get sunburned. Oh. <laughs> so oh. I'm sure if I got a spray tan, they would also get a little bit of spray That's tan. That's funny. They'd also yeah. just get a little bit of a spray tan. It's fine. But if you wanted to mix like a, a skin tone, it would be peach and white, I do believe. Or I to get peach on my palette. But to get a peach, you'd add like a red white and a bit of the orange or yellow and so if you want help i can it's all right no no no. i like the uh, spray tan look i can help with you sooner then we can hear <laughs> so kim wears um high heel boots and so when she is in the office or coming down we can hear the clicking of her boots and so um it's an international sign now in the in the studio when you hear the clicking that we can hear kim and Brett likes to point it out. Something is funny. Yes, I would have to go with red for his hair. It's the only color I haven't used yet. You can do purple? Or purple. No one's telling you you can. I, I did orange and red. So for all of you, if you ever wanted to mix, uh, if you have a basic watercolor kit and you need to mix, you know, a peachy skin tone, it's red and orange and quite a bit of white. I guess you can use this for his, uh, you can use some of this in the background if you'd like it, but that is how you would do that if you ever need to, but it is pop art and nothing needs to make sense. Ever. And a lot of times in art, it doesn't make sense. Nothing needs to make sense because it's art. And Charity says hi, everyone. Hi, Charity. Hi, Charity. Hi, Charity. <laughs> hi, Charity. Hi, Charity. Now, I really like the concept of doing multi artists on Live Art Mini. I've had fun. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys have had fun. I Likewise, think it's fun. Yes. I think it's, I like giving all of you the, the chance to work together. I like group projects like this because I think they're fun. I think they're interesting. <laughs> yeah, very cool, Erin. Do you want to color maybe some of the background or a shirt? You could use, let's find some bright colors, Erin. got some soothing tones from the clever touch system in the background here to soothe our worries cup. yeah here's a cup of colors hakuna matata. Yeah. hakuna matata it means no worries for the rest of your days the only worries we have here yes is if Vingo is ever going to get past his midlife crisis of the spray tan in the in the purple <laughs> let his daughter choose what was going on with his look that day. Yeah, we like it. We like it. And Kinsey's also watching up front. What's up, Kinsey? Hi, Kinsey! What's up, Kinsey? What's up, Kinsey? What's up, Kinsey? What's up, Kinsey? Hello. I can hear Kim. I wonder if everyone else can hear Kim on the camera. For all of our viewers, please tell us if you can hear Kim. <laughs> Shout out to Kim. What's Kim? Kim. We're going to give a shout out to Kim. Hi, Kim. Hey. <laughs> Kim, watch this later. 
Kim can always uh, pop in and say hi. Really quick. Yeah, you can mention something and give some shout outs down the line as we finish up some of our drawing elements. So, one of the new things that we're working on here at the studio is um, digital art. Yeah. And I was just thinking, as because I love doing digital art. And in digital art, you know, I would paint this triangle and then I could have it auto filled. Not when you're painting, <laughs> you yeah, got to do it all yeah. by hand. All oh, by hand, every time. But then, you know, that's okay, too, because then you kind of get a little more appreciation for what you're working on. I like it. I just use a really big brush. <laughs> this is the brush I use. It's so teeny. It's teeny tiny. So we're going to take a peek at everyone's art, starting with Allison again, down over here. And then we are going to ask some more questions, like an interview. Fun. So, Allison... What is your favorite part about Inside Out Studio? My favorite part about Inside Out Studio is feeling like you belong someplace. That means a lot to me. And you mean a lot to us here, Allison. You'll always well, belong here. You. All right, Brett, what's your favorite part about Inside Out Studio? Oh, I see. I see. Uh, about making money? You like making money? Brett loves making money here. So if you're interested in making a little bit more money for Brett, his paintings are all available on our website and in stores. You can always come in. Uh, we are open 10 to 6 today. 10 to 6, Tuesday to Friday, and 10 to 4, I do believe, on Saturdays. And then Brett can make as much money as you want. <laughs> he is always available for commissions as well. He started one today, and he loves it. Can you show us what you're working on? Can you show us what you have? Very cool. Lots of bright colors in his style as always with lots of flowers. Very expressive. So, <laughs> Yeah, Kim is probably walking past the sensory studio, probably saying hi since we said hi to her. All right, Aaron, what's your favorite part about the Inside Out Studio? Get some more. Just don't drink your paint water. <laughs> What's your favorite part about Inside Out Studio, Aaron? Art. Art. You love doing art. I love doing art with you, Aaron. Can you show us what you got so far? Um. Can you show us what you have? Yeah, can we see it? Yeah. Yeah, lots of browns and muted Brown. colors, but a hint of blue for his blue, eyes. Blue eyes. Very cool. cool. It's going to make an excellent collection of work. I can't work. wait to see it. All right, we're going to switch back to Morgan. Morgan, do you want to do face cam or creative cam? Uh, yes. Uh. <laughs> face cam. Face cam. Okay, you're going to have to. One second. We're going to have to. You're going to show. This is the setup if anyone is ever interested in what it looks like. Morgan, what is your favorite part about the Inside Out Studio? My favorite part about Inside Out Studio is you're, you're in an environment that you know you belong in. I also enjoy the fact that when I'm here, I'm making something that can get sold. I can get paid for making something. In a way, it's like a job, but you don't feel like you're going to work. You feel like you're coming to have fun and get messy and learn something new and it's just amazing and the environment here the, the staff is amazing the people here are amazing it's just amazing <laughs> i was trying to think of another word there wasn't one extraordinary well we love having you we love having all of you guys here every day and so so thank you to everyone thank you to everyone here for being here today and Coming through with the Live Art Mini, and thank you to all of our sponsors and donors for continuously making this program happen for all of our artists, for everyone in the community, because without you, there would be no us. So, it's very true. <laughs> so I know you guys keep touring the facility, and everyone keeps seeing what we do here, and so those people that don't get to tour or haven't had a chance to yet, we thank all of you so much for You've been supporting us at home by watching Live Art Mini and the families of everyone here for supporting them and what we do in our mission. So thank you so much every single day.
So also, if you see what we're doing and you'd like to give it a try, but you may not have all of the utensils or all the right materials, these videos are on YouTube. So if you'd like to rewatch them so you can follow along with the video, they are also uploaded to YouTube. Yeah, you can always follow along to YouTube. Another time. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and we put them on YouTube so you can watch these over and over and over again and relive some of the glory and follow along and make the art along with us. Make as many Van Gogh pop art pieces as you'd like. Or even use your favorite celebrity. In the contenders, we had Van Gogh from Allison Davis. We had Elvis from Brett. <laughs> Are you going to finish coloring him in? Are you going to finish coloring his skin? Who is your favorite celebrity, Erin? You told me Bongo. Bongo. Yeah, Bongo, Disney character, was... <laughs> A long time ago. A long time ago? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah? Bongo little. Bongo is little? And Bongo. Uh, a little. <laughs> it was a very long time ago. <laughs> and Morgan actually gave me two of her favorite celebrities. So who was the first one? Hillary Duff. And who was the second one? Britney Spears. Britney Spears. And then actually I gave you three. Who was the third one? Ashton Kutcher. And Ashton Kutcher. None of those. I was I was really debating. I was really debating uh, Britney. I do, I do love some Britney. Take me, baby, one more time. My name is, you know, my, one of my karaoke songs is Toxic by Britney Spears, so. Britney Spears, if you happen to be watching this one day. We love you. We love you. We love you, Britney. We love you so much. <laughs> Someone make this whole video go viral, so Britney right? will come to Inside Out Studio for us. <laughs> oh, Britney. Okay. at Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> Pam said, great job, everyone. Thanks, Pam. Thanks, Morgan's mom. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. This is what I've done. This is what I've done thus far. Perfect. We've got a couple more minutes. So can we can... I share what I've done? Yeah, we're going to go about five more minutes, and then we're going to share what we have. Yep. So give me one second. So I'm going to start with Allison, and then we can finish up a little bit, and we will keep going around. Okay, so I'm going to <gasps> dun, 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 disconnect the creative cam and wheel around on the loose surface. So I'm really sorry, everyone, if I... I'm really sorry, everyone, if we get seasick a little bit, but we're trying our best. Okay. Okay, we're going to go around to Allison first and show off what we have. Beautiful. Love those colors. I love the green. Thank you. Gorgeous. So we are going to put all of these on a poster board together. So they sit as a collection. So you can sign if you want to sign at the top or the side next to you maybe ooh, I have a microphone in my hand. Um you can maybe sign like here. Okay, I think I'll do that. I'm really proud of it. I really like this. Yeah, I think your... it's my best watercolor I've ever done. It looks great. I love the attention to detail with his little eyebrows, and I like this a lot. Thank you. Yeah, so we're going to show them off as a collection, so you can. I'm not sure how we'll purchase. Is there a sharpie marker I can use in here? There is. Morgan has one, so we'll. Thank you. Sign my Johnny Hawk. Johnny Hawk. All right, I'll twist this around. All righty, Brett. Can you show us what you have? All right, lots of bright colors, very expressive. Yeah, very cool. I love how this will look in the grand scheme. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Do you have any, oh, we'll go back to Allison, I forgot to ask. Do you have any shout outs for anyone else you want to say hi to? Just a shout out to my mom, she's awesome. Yeah, and I think your mom is just, just as awesome. She is awesome. <laughs> All right, Brett, do you have any shout outs? Anyone oh, you want to say, say hi, to? hi to? My best buddy. And my little kids. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> so, hi to everyone from Brett. 
Alrighty, Erin, can you show us what you have? Erin, got a little mixed media in here. Grab some markers. Looks great. Yeah. <laughs> Looks very good. Do you have any shout outs? Anyone you want to say hi to, Erin? Uh, Anyone you want to say hi to? Karma and Junior. <laughs> and pepperoni at home. <laughs> pepperoni at home. Well, hello to them from Erin. Yeah. Alright. We have Morgan over here painting like the wind. But it's okay. She will have a little bit more time to finish after the camera does stop rolling. What an awkward angle of me. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm going to put her down for a minute. Like I said, I am just holding it in my hand and hoping I don't drop it. So I'm sorry to my Surface Pro. <laughs> Any shout outs from you, Morgan? Yeah, I would like to say hi to my best friend outside of the studio. His name is Will. He's currently teaching. Um, he's a teacher. But I'd like to sit, send him a big hello and hi to my mom again. Thank you for tuning in today. And thank you to everyone who is tuning in. Big shout out to all of you. All righty. You want to show us what you have so far? I know you'll have a little bit of time to finish no. up. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you have to hold it up. I do not have the... I hold it up this way? Or do I turn it? The correct way, yeah, yeah. So like bottom towards me, bottom towards me. Bright colors, very expressive. Gonna very look gorgeous. Very Bless you. Bless you. Thanks. <laughs> very Van. Very Van Goey. I'm trying my best. All right, we're gonna put it up on the dock one more time for final goodbyes, everyone. So I don't accidentally drop it. We hear Kim going through one more time. Morgan, you can scoot back over towards Aaron for our final send-offs. All right, we want to say one final thank you to everyone for all of your contributions for supporting us. Please come out to celebrate the Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month events with us at both Basil and Casual Pint. Thank you, everyone. We will be posting our final pieces later. And... We will see you next week for more pop art. Bye. Bye. Bye.